Hi friends, today we are finally, finally, finally going to be doing the long awaited 25k Q&A. I sincerely apologise that I am late with this. I mean, I'm pretty much late to the party with everything. You guys must know this by now. And the last couple of weeks have been a little bit busy at work. But anyway, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you all. You guys are amazing and you... Just amazing, to be honest. I mean, that's really all I can say. Thanks so much for your support. Without further delay, let's get right into the Q&A. Okay, so the first question comes from Sam Laugh, and he has asked, are you going to do your question video or it's not going to happen? Spoiler alert, Sam, this is it. It's it this, this is the video. Yeah. Mac Max asked, hi Mac Max, do you see yourself doing YouTube in five years time? This is a great question. I definitely want to say yes, I do see myself doing it in five years time. What I will say is that hopefully I'll be doing it a damn sight better than I'm doing it now because at the minute my upload schedule is all over the place. It ain't good for you guys, it ain't good for me and it's definitely something that I really want to fix. Aaron Jones asked, did you ever expect to hit the 25k mark? And how big would you like your channel to grow? Well, Aaron, did I ever expect to hit 25k? Honestly, absolutely not. I really didn't. And I know that's something that a lot of people probably say, like, I don't, you know, I didn't expect to get this far. But it's the truth, and I'd be lying if I said otherwise. So I am extremely grateful for all you lovely people that hit that little, little red button. In terms of how big I would like to see the channel grow, I honestly don't have a set goal as such. It would be nice to kind of think maybe I could reach 50k by the end of the year, but at the same time, I know that for that to happen, I need to fix my uploading schedule because at the minute it's uh, kaput. So I, I don't know, maybe that's not achievable, but that's kind of the next goal that I'm working towards. To be honest, I, I'm just really happy with where things are out with the channel now and I'm just gonna keep doing it for as long as I enjoy it and for as long as you guys enjoy it I guess. AKA Owen said I'm gonna start doing what you're doing when I leave school. Any tips and comments for having good videos? The main thing I would say is to make sure that you are doing quality videos and you are yourself and that you are also happy with the videos that you are putting out. If you don't have those three things, then what three things did I say you should have? Well, I don't know. But if you don't have those three things, then, you know, God, my family are messaging me. And the other thing I would say is that it's also important to go into this with the mindset that it's actually something that you really love and it's something that you want to do. Because if you're not doing it for those reasons, then it kind of shows and you should just quit. I don't know what you're saying, woman. Okay, so we have quite a few Call of Duty related questions, which makes sense because this channel is predominantly a Call of Duty channel. Shocker. Okay, let's move on to the next question, which comes from Fitch Spearings. It's definitely how you pronounce his name. Um, he or she asked what is in your opinion the best gun in black ops 3 okay so i'm gonna say that this has changed from when i first started playing black ops 3 when i initially started out i was obsessed with the kn44 i then moved on to the m8a7 which i played with for a long time that is a beast of a gun i still absolutely love that gun but we have a shocking new entry to take the number one spot, which I'm sure you guys probably know by now because I think a lot of my recent videos have probably been with this gun, and it is the CUDA. So I've kind of moved from the assault rifles to the SMGs, and the CUDA is now my top gun to play with. So that's definitely my favorite gun, and the gun 
Oh god, there go the lights. Sorry guys. Gotta fix those lights. Hey lady, fix your damn lights. All of the lights, all of the lights. So yeah, the Cuda is currently... The Cuda is currently bay. Nobody says that anymore. The next question comes from the Gaming Ghost 91 and they have asked, what is your favourite Call of Duty? So, uh, you don't need to start every sentence with so. COD 4 is definitely my favourite Call of Duty. It is the first Call of Duty that I started playing, so that, you know, obviously is one of the main reasons. It was just a really great game, it was a simpler time, it was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was never the worst of times. It was always just the best of times. As you can imagine, I am very excited for COD 4 Remastered. As much as I love the older Call of Duties, it's not that often that I go back to them, which I guess is probably the case for most people. Um, especially with a game like COD 4, because now if you try and play, it's just hacker central. Yeah, so having that obviously on current gen is gonna be really, really exciting and I am so looking forward to it. Probably more than Infinite Warfare. But I didn't say that. I mean, that's what we're all thinking, right? Dana Carver asked, what's your favorite map, weapon and specialist? This is actually a really great question. I like this. Favorite map is probably Hunted slash combine can i have two dana will you give me two dana i'm really sorry my lights just fell down in the middle of your question it's very rude of them bear with me one second folks well i fixed the damn lights again it's pandemonium it's all happening back there with those lights so yeah favorite map hunted Stroke Combine. You said I could have two, Dana. You didn't. I'm just giving myself two. Favourite weapon I've already talked about is currently the Cuda. And as for my favourite specialist, I would probably say the one that I use the most is Seraph's Combat Focus. So that is probably my fave. Although, although, Dana, I do also really love Blackjack because I like the variation. Mm. So yeah, it's kind of a toss-up between those two. Hopefully that helps. Why would it help you? It's not going to help. Jules Parker asked, has a scuff controller made a noticeable difference to your COD performance? I mean, I'm guessing some of you are probably going to say, no, she's shit. But yes, Jules, I honestly think it does make a difference. To me, personally, I feel like it helps you play a lot more efficiently and it does kind of give you the edge over those poor suckers that don't have a scuff controller. I know they are a little bit of a pricey investment, but I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I would give you a code for a 10% off, but I just i am not really good enough to have one of those. I use nade shots to, to get my 10% off. <laughs> Nuevo Canal NL Ultimo Video YouTube asked, gosh that's quite a long name there Nuevo, he asked do you think that you are going to make lives? Hmm, Um. to be honest my only plans are to take lives in Call of Duty Nuevo. I I, I don't know, I maybe will make lives at some point in the future but I mean, I'm still in my 20s. I've, I've got plenty of time for that. At the minute, I'm far too selfish and I just like spending my time playing games and watching great programs on Netflix, so I don't have any plans to make lives right now. No. Medace19 asked, what's your favorite game? I'm gonna level with you. As of right now, I'm probably gonna say Pokemon Go. Obviously outside of COD, I mean, COD will always be be the alt's fave. But uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go, as you guys know. And this is my current, can, can you see? Can, can, can you see? So yeah, this is my current lineup of beasts, as it were. Uh, we're not looking too shabby, you need a king. Pretty, pretty high. And my Lapras is a pretty good CP. We've got a sh shit ton of Hypnos. 
Um, and then you can see Seeking and Cedar at Stormy is actually my old fave. This thing is an absolute monster at taking down gyms. You can literally do it in two seconds flat. The Nathster 6422 asked, is YouTube your full time job or just a hobby? So YouTube for me is very much just a hobby. It's something that I do in the evenings and at weekends. That's generous because I know for the last two weeks I haven't uploaded very much. Guys, give me a break. But yeah, I do have a full-time job, which leads on to the next question from Gunslinger Girl Leipzig, who asked, what's your job in London? So I don't think I've ever actually spoken to you guys about my job before, but I actually do PR for Xbox. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of jobs, it's pretty sweet. I moved back from Dubai last year where I had a job in PR working on like fashion and beauty stuff which was not really my bag to be honest and yeah they they had a job going so I went for it I'd always been a big fan of Xbox oh PS4 Master Race sorry guys so yeah I, I went for the job and I got it and that is my full-time job. It's actually really awesome. We get to do some really exciting stuff. So we did a big launch event for Halo 5 Guardians, which was really cool. And then we've had like events for Gears of War 4. We've had events for Quantum Break. And basically any of the big titles that are coming up, we, we tend to hold events for them. So it's great. I get to meet a lot of media. I get to meet some YouTubers. And I also get to go to Gamescom this year, which is really, really exciting. And I cannot wait. I really cannot wait to go to that. So, I mean, yeah, that is my job, which kind of leads into the next question, which is from Metal Militia 2012, who said, when are you going to stop being an Xbox scrub and join us on PS4? Well, obviously I am not bound to Xbox and I don't play Xbox because I work for Xbox but it has just always been my preferred console. It was what I started playing COD 4 on, and then I've just kind of stuck with it. I think I've just got comfortable with it, and I definitely prefer the controller over the PS4 controller. But for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you will know that I do actually own a PS4 now. I still kind of need to make the move across to it, to be honest, um, because it's kind of sitting here, um collecting dust. God, I shouldn't say that. Don't tell them that. But no, I will, I will definitely be moving across to it for COD 4 Remastered and also Infinite Warfare. The thing is, is that at the minute, all of my progress for Black Ops 3 is on the Xbox One. Okay, so final question is from Shitsmissers S. And they asked, free trip, all expenses paid, where would you go and why? So this is actually a really good question and it's a really difficult one to answer. I honestly think I would probably go to America and kind of go for a few weeks and do like a, a tour of different areas of America. So I'd love to go to Los Angeles, I've never been before. And I would love to go to Disney World. I have been at Disney World before, I absolutely love Disney World. Yeah, I uh, would, would, would I choose that? It's a really it's a really tricky one, but yeah, I think I would choose to go to America and just do like a tour of a whole load of different places, probably go to New York. Well, I don't really know if that's very exciting. Is that exciting? I, I honestly just love... I just love America! I just do love America though. I really do. I love America. Just love it. Yeah, I think I'd probably go to America. Anyway guys, I think you've heard enough from me for one day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for your support. And as always guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. I just love America!